And it's not only good old Aussie revheads who can veer from the path of political correctness. How about American artists? Richard Whitehurst creates rape tunnel installation. An American artist has come under fire from police and feminist groups after constructing an artwork entitled The Rape Tunnel. The story had already featured six days earlier on the popular New York gossip website Gawker. Enter the Rape Tunnel for art. Gawker pointed its readers to the originator of the story, a Miami-based newsletter called Art Lurker. The Rape Tunnel by Sheila Zarino. Art Lurker had a great picture of the rape tunnel being fabricated in Richard Whitehurst's Columbus studio, and a bunch of quotes from the Ohio artist about his latest experiment in performance art. At the end of the tunnel, the subject will find me waiting, and I'll try to the best of my ability to overpower and rape the person who crawls through. The piece had a nice picture of Mr. Whitehurst, who looked pleasant enough. However, he said. I plan to make the experience as unpleasant as I possibly can to anyone who dares to crawl through the tunnel. All this news.com.au faithfully reported six days later, which is odd because within a day of printing its first story, Gorka.com had posted this. Yesterday we brought you the ridiculous story of the purported rape tunnel. Alas, it was just another art hoax. Our field trip is cancelled. Gorka had done what News Limited hadn't bothered to do. Googled a couple of the names in the art lurker story, like the William Strunk Junior Museum of Contemporary Art in Akron, and internationally regarded galleries such as Alexandria Asherton Gallery and Seward Project Space. None of them exist. On the same day that Gorka revealed the hoax, Art Lurker came clean. By publishing the rape tunnel, our intention was to spark conversation on the state of art for a few hours. With coverage of an entirely fake art project, they were going to let on within hours. They said, but when Gorka ran its story, a surge in traffic knocked out our comparatively meagre server, making that impossible. Ironic, eh? But it doesn't explain why five days later, News Limited ran the story straight, apparently oblivious to the fact that its original source had proclaimed the yarn a hoax. If you want to charge people to access your websites, Mr. Murdoch. You'll need to make sure they don't find themselves paying for garbage like that. That's it for now. Till next week. Good night.